We are on Spreecast. We are live, and we're glad that you're here. Thank you very much for coming. This is Hal, Hal Stead from Quail Studios Tutorials, and we are going to post this a little bit later on YouTube. So this is what you're missing if you're on YouTube and um, you're not on Patreon. Only patrons get this. And I want to talk a little bit today about what is... Um, what we're going to be doing here in the near future. We have a video called Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And Twinkle Twinkle Little Star has, let's see, let me pull this up, 145,000 views on it. And um, I've had some comments there and, and had some feedback about what we're doing with that particular video. Some people would like some more uh, simple melodies, and so we're going to be producing some of these. Some of you know that there's a Star Wars movie coming out this December, and so we decided um, let's do some Star Wars melodies. Um, the main theme uh, is always really good. There we go. Right? That's the main theme of Star Wars. Okay, maybe you've heard that theme before. So we're going to be working on these themes and publishing these themes for you so that you can play them on the guitar. It's a very good technique to have to be able to play a melody. And in Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, we did one string melodies. Let's see. Right? I could actually do the same thing with the force theme. do that. And so we could put it on one string for those of you who need it on one string to begin with, who want to do this um, very simply. And then later uh, you can do songs with two strings and songs with three strings and four strings. So we're going to make a, a, um, a playlist on our YouTube channel and it's going to be melodies and um, I don't have it there yet but we're going to do that very soon. So it's going to have melodies and uh, simple um, songs. We might make a playlist for one string melodies and two string melodies and uh, just one for melodies in general where you can play uh, the melody of a song and I do this when I'm performing. If I do um, So what I'm doing there is I'm I've got a looper and I played the right I'm playing the background the chords the harmonies and then I'm playing I'm playing the melody right it makes it really pretty it's it's uh, it comes across very well there are some videos that I did uh, just give me a reason was one um, concerning hobbits from uh, the Hobbit movies, uh, not the Hobbit movies, but uh, Lord of the Rings, especially the first one. On the Quail Studios page, let's see where that is. If you go to Lessons, no, nope, I'm sorry, Music and The Guitar Book, what you do is you go down, click on it, there's a drop down box that happens, and you'll see a bunch of pieces. It's, I haven't counted them lately, over 20. 25 or 27 or something and there are melodies and chords and all of these are basically um, 
first position chords for the most part and melodies where you can play uh, a lot of different fun things. So what does this have to do playing a melody with, uh, I mean, what, what is the advantage to that? Well, I want to let you know, let's see if there's any comments. Nope, no comments. Um, so we'll just keep going. Uh, when you want to play a lead, right, you can't do that unless you're um, pretty savvy about how to play single note. Right? And there's a couple of different ways to approach playing the guitar. One of the things that um, would be really good is if you, if you learn how to play chords. Now, you don't have to start out playing chords, but some people like to do that. They like to sing along, you know, with their, their playing. So that's a good way. That's what I used to do, you know. As I walked out in the streets of Laredo, I walked out in Laredo one day. Right? So I just sang and played at the same time. Um, then you can approach playing melodies. Right? And that's the same melody that I just sang. And you could have somebody play the chords. Of the right? We'll play the melody. Right? So you can do guitar duets like that. Um, I had a student once, let me tell you this little story. I had a student once, um, he told me that he did not want to play melodies. He started with me when he was about nine. And he really couldn't play chords. So I didn't really push that on him. And I taught him how to play, you know, different melodies. First of all, it was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And we went from there. And um, he was very passionate about learning how to play. And he told me one time, he said, I want to learn a bunch of songs. And so uh, this was in the days of uh, cassette tapes. So he would record from the radio the songs he wanted to play. And he had an hour, a 60-minute cassette full of songs and said, I want to learn all of these songs. And uh, he did that with several tapes. Well, what was interesting is that um, every once in a while I would say, so would you like to learn chords? And he'd be like, no, no, I don't want to learn chords. I just want to learn uh, melodies. He didn't want to do chords for, it was really literally years, probably four years. And then one day he said to me, I want to do chords. So I showed him the chord sheet, the basic chord sheet that you can find on um, the videos that talk about open position chords. And in one week, he had all of those down. He was amazing. And then we worked on um, other open position chords, and then we started to work on bar chords. And he was amazing. He really was. He was very, very fast at getting those things all together. So that taught me that you don't have to do it just one way, that you can approach learning the guitar through chords, through melodies, or you know, uh, both at the same time. So I hope that you have a good experience um, learning the guitar. I'm here to help you. Eventually, of course, you won't need me anymore, but for right now, go to quailstudios.com, quail-studios.com. I'll put the link right here on the screen for those of you who are watching this delayed. Is there anything else? I'm trying to think if there is. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for... Um, participating.